Hey guys, Tina here, The Critical Virgo. So I'm coming back at you with another Mario Badescu review. I gave you guys my first one three months ago and the feedback was great. You guys really seem to like this stuff. And a lot has changed in the last three months. It's gone from kind of warm outside to really cold. We have snow on the ground, so my needs have changed. I ran out of a few products and while I could have repurchased them again, I decided not to because again, what worked in the warmer months won't work in these really cold months. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the timestamps down below so you can fast forward to whatever you wanna see. I'm not gonna make you suffer. Trust me, I know how that feels and I hate it. So without further ado, let's get into the good stuff, shall we? I ran out of the Acne Facial Cleanser and I decided not to repurchase it because even though it was really great, for this time of year, it was just a little too drying. So what I opted for was a soap that I used previously about a year ago. It's really great, super gentle. I love it. It's this seaweed cleansing soap. And it's really thick and creamy. The only thing I will tell you is it has a little bit of a funny smell to it. I think it's because it has like seaweed pieces in it. But again, for this time of year, it is so good. I purchased this bottle a little over a month ago. I use it every day in the shower and I am nowhere near done with that. Like it'll last me for months. Oh, and this is a good one. So you'll be able to see it. There are little black pieces in here. And those are the little bits of seaweed. So it's supposed to be like kind of exfoliating but the seaweed is so soft that it's really not going to exfoliate again this is ultra creamy and very hydrating it'll leave your skin feeling so soft and moisturized it is a very funny smell though it smells very oceanic but not in a good way Yeah, it just it doesn't smell good. If you can walk into like a store that carries this stuff, I would smell it if you can before you buy it because it might turn you off. I'm not gonna lie. The first time I ever used this, I was like, what the hell am I putting in my face? But I just learned to accept it and I knew about that smell going into it this time around, so I was okay with it. This is a eight ounce bottle and this retails for $14 love it especially this time of year because again it is very creamy and hydrating on to the next so around this time of year i don't like to use makeup wipes and i don't like using a lot of soap on my face like harsh soap with sulfates again that's why i went to this seaweed cleansing soap um i tend to take my makeup off with things like cold cream i used to use ponds but they like reformulated their stuff and it just made me break out like crazy so then i went back to origins because they have their own kind of cold cream even though they don't call it a cold cream but it is because all you do is you put it on you wipe it on wipe it off or you can rinse it off it's the same thing and they're all very hydrating i was looking for a replacement to that and i saw that mario badescu had the room what do you know it is this cleansing milk with carnation and rice oil I actually really like this stuff. It's got some mixed reviews online. A lot of people say that it doesn't take off your makeup. I think you really gotta know how to work with it and what to expect out of it. If I'm wearing like heavy duty makeup, I'm not gonna get it all off on one, on one shot. It's like makeup wipes. I mean, really, if you had some heavy duty makeup on, you're not gonna take everything off with one wipe. You're probably gonna use two, maybe even three, right? So why would you expect this to be a miracle worker. I mean, it's like a lotion for your face. It's very creamy, very hydrating. This is six ounces, by the way, and this retails for $12. $12. It's very hydrating. It's like putting lotion on your face, but it's like cleaning with oil. When you wipe this off, your skin feels so soft and hydrated. Like, I think it's a wonderful product. And again, you're just gonna have to know how to work with it. It's, you gotta be realistic. So when you have a duty makeup, put it on once, wipe it in good, wipe it off with a, a tissue or even rinse it off and then do it again. I prefer this to soap. 
again because it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry when you're done with that like Sometimes I don't even put lotion on. I don't feel the need to because my skin feels so hydrated because there is oil in this. There's rice oil and it's ultra, ultra gentle. By the way, this has no fragrance. It smells like nothing. So if you're very sensitive to fragrance, this is a really good one for you. Okay, the next thing, I have to talk to you guys about this. So in my last video, I showed you guys the strawberry face scrub and I'm a fan of it. I know some people are like, it doesn't exfoliate. Yes, it's very gentle. So I don't know if Mario Badescu made this for the people who were looking for something a little more exfoliating. I kind of have the feeling that it was created for that. It is their Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. And it says that this is for all skin types and it's supposed to give you smoother, more radiant skin. But can I just warn you? I gotta warn you guys. So, I don't know if you remember this, but I told you how I used to use very harsh scrubs that would make my skin red. This is that. So if you have sensitive skin, don't buy this. Do not buy this. Even though it says all types, it is not for all types. I have very sensitive skin. And the first time I used it, I didn't realize this would be so abrasive and my skin was just red. And I wasn't even, I wasn't rubbing hard at all. So I said, okay, let me see how this goes. I broke out. I got like four pimples on my chin and like one big one on my cheek that's still just finally disappearing and like a few everywhere else. And then I tried it a second time and I, I was rubbing even lighter. I barely put any pressure on, my skin was still red. What I will say is, this is a great exfoliator if your skin can handle it, but if you have sensitive skin at all, stay away because this will just irritate it like nobody's business. And this stuff is not cheap, by the way. This is 3.4 ounces and it runs you $26. It is a clear gel. I'm not gonna be able to show you guys like how the exfoliating beads look because they're clear, but what I can tell you is this is a very yeah, it's just, it's just clear. It's a very gritty, rough formula. It's not like gritty like an apricot scrub, but it is very fine, like crystal beads, if that makes sense. And it's just so rough on your skin. So I can't stress that one enough. If you have sensitive skin, do not buy it. Just do yourself a favor. Or if you're really curious about it, go to the store, ask them if they have a tester, just rub a little bit on your hand, and I promise you, if you're anything like me and you have sensitive skin, you'll know right away it's not for you. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of that. I think it's like a shame to throw it away, so I'll probably give it to my boyfriend, I don't know. I gotta figure that one out. Anyway, I ran out of the special cucumber lotion that I didn't realize was toner. And now I know. Well, I've known for a little while now. I wanted to stay with the whole seaweed theme because I went back to the seaweed cleansing soap. So I went for the seaweed cleansing lotion, which is another toner, just like the cucumber one. And I really like it, I gotta say. Nothing really, you know, could go bad with this. It's eight ounces and this one retails for 15, but they do have a 16 ounce option that goes for 26. And it does have fragrance in it. Um, I can't really, it doesn't smell like the cleansing soap does. This one's actually pleasant, not like the Dead Sea. It doesn't say that there's fragrance in it, but you can smell it. You can definitely smell something. It's very mild. Um, now that I know what I'm doing with it, I honestly, I don't wash my face in the morning. I just put a little bit of this on a pad and I, wipe my face down or if I just, if I had like really heavy makeup on and I used this um, cleansing milk and I just wanna make sure that I got everything off, I'll take a little pad with a little bit of this on, just rub it on just to make sure. It doesn't do any harm because I'm gonna show you these crazy moisturizers that I have going on that help combat that dryness. But really great. I think all of their cleansing lotions are great when you know how to use them and you can't really go wrong. There's not too much to say about that. 
Now that we're done cleaning our face, let's talk about putting some moisture back into it. I ran out of the Moisture Magnet lotion and it was really great. Again, thought about getting it, but I wanted a really great nighttime cream, especially around this time of year. So again, going with the seaweed theme, I ended up getting this. The seaweed night cream. And I love it. I really do. Ooh, can we focus? There you go. It is green, as you would expect. This one does not smell bad at all. And it is ultra creamy. It's so thick and creamy. It's a really luxurious night cream. I love it. Mm, I love it. This runs $22 for one ounce. I've been using this for about a month because I use this sometimes even during the day if it's super cold out and I just want to feel extra pampered. I don't think this is going to last me very long, but it will get me through the winter, which is all I need it for. So really great product right there. Highly recommend it. It is good for combination oily and sensitive skin, but I really think it's for everybody because really can't go wrong with that. It's not going to clog your pores, hasn't given me any acne, and it hasn't irritated my skin in any way. On to the next. Uh, for a daytime moisturizer, I don't know how I really feel about this one. It is the oil-free moisturizer. It's got SPF 30 in it. <clears throat> It's two ounces. Um, this goes for $28. The only reason why I say I'm not sure how I really feel about this one is because sometimes, I mean, okay, let's be honest. When you take photos and you wear um, stuff with sunscreen in it, sometimes you get a little bit of a flashback. And I kind of feel like this gave it to me one day. Also, the first week that I was using it, I broke out really badly. It's very thick and it's got that suntan smell to it, that suntan lotion smell to it. Yeah, I, I but I know like it's, it's such a losing battle for me. Things with um, SPF in them or any kind of suntan lotions or bronzing lotion, tanning, whatever. Anything to do with tanning or the sun makes me break out. On my back, on my face, everywhere. I just break out. I don't do well with it, but I need it because anti-aging, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I'm really gonna use this in the winter months because we have no sun. I've been using this for the past week and it hasn't been so bad, but I can tell you just from my experience, and the little glimpse I got when it was not as cold out in the summer, if I use this, I'll probably break out. And this is for combination oily and sensitive skin, but I don't think it's really great for Tina's skin. A lot of people seem to really like it online, so it's worth giving it a try. Um, but again, you know, just be mindful of that, especially if you are very sensitive with SPF products like I am. I just didn't do very well with it. A moisturizer that I really like for the daytime, but doesn't offer any SPF coverage is this Buttermilk Moisturizer. I have been using this pretty much every day and I absolutely love it. It's ultra gentle. It has no fragrance to it. And it's um, $18 for two ounces. I've had this for a month and I it's kind of hard to see, but I'm about, almost halfway done so I use this a lot I don't think it'll last me much longer I'll probably have to buy another one before the winter is over but I'm okay with that I really like it I would recommend that has maybe breakout hasn't dried out my skin and I do enjoy it after I filmed my first video I had this one cystic spot that would just not go away I put everything I could think of on it I let it sit for oh my gosh almost like two weeks and it just would not go anywhere. So I finally gave in and I purchased the famous drying lotion, which is so funny because somebody commented 
on my video that I should try it. And I have been using it quite a bit. Um, I mean, considering it was like filled up there. And I got some, you can't really see it, but I got some dentations going in that pink stuff. So this is one ounce. I got the glass bottle because I'm not traveling with it, but they do sell it in a plastic one if you are concerned with traveling. And this retails for $17 and it works like a charm. It, I don't know what it does or how it does it. I really don't care. It just sucks out and dries up whatever is going on under your skin. And that's all I care about. It's a charm. It's been reviewed a thousand times and it has rave reviews for good reason because this stuff works. Like if you have acne and you haven't checked this stuff out, what are you waiting for? Like stop buying all that drugstore stuff and just do yourself a favor and get this and some good moisturizer because this will dry your skin out too. But that's okay. It's rated for all skin types. And I mean, I really don't think I gotta say too much about it. If you want me to do an even deeper review or if you want me to track the progress of one of my pimples, I totally will. Let me know down below. <laughs> that would actually be kind of fun and gross at the same time. Ah, uh, so I, I have like really bad blackheads and I get them on my, like on my nose, sometimes on my chin and on my, ch uh, well, on my chin over here and on my chin on the sides. And, um, I was looking for something that would help reduce them and clear them up and I found this glycolic gel. Now this is two ounces and it retails for $25. It got really good reviews online. It doesn't have a scent to it. You don't need a lot. I've had this for over a month now and I haven't used a lot at all. You just need like a little bit and you put it on the areas where you get blackheads the most and use it one to two times a week. And it's supposed to help. It, it's supposed to break down that congestion. And I'll tell you this, don't use it more than two times a week. It'll dry your skin out really bad. <laughs> I tried it cause I was like so fed up with like a few of the spots in my nose. I was like, hey, a few times during the week. It was not good. Don't do it. But when you use it as it's instructed, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's not like a miracle worker, but it does help reduce the amount of blackheads you get. I get them really bad, especially on my nose. So it's made a huge difference in my life. I'll continue to use it and I would repurchase it again. Last but not least, we have um, a mask. I purchased the Cucumber Tonic Mask. And you get two ounces in this jar and it retails for $18. I keep the, like this piece on there. Um, it's a clay based mask. It's very, I wish I could tilt it without spilling it, but it's very liquidy. So it would be really hard to show you cause it'll just literally uh, spill, but it's, it's, yeah, it's not thick at all. Can you see that? And when you put it on, it goes on like really thin. It's not like a thick mask. And then it just kind of dries. And you let it, you put a thin layer on, you let it sit for like 20 to 30 minutes, and then you wash it off. And your skin is so soft after. I went with the cucumber because cucumber is supposed to be, you know, very calming for your skin. And to be honest, I feel like it's made a difference. I really do enjoy it. I use it twice a week and I feel like it just makes my skin look and feel more radiant when I take it off. It's super soft. And then after that, I put a little bit of the seaweed night cream on and I'm good to go. And I've really been digging this, especially for the winter. It's helped um, my skin tremendously. I don't get that like dry flakiness on my chin or anywhere on my face, in fact. And I do use a foundation that can definitely emphasize any dry patches. It's the Japanesque foundation. So I really gotta be careful with how moisturized my skin is. I am still using the same eye cream I had before. I'll probably have it throughout 
the rest of the year, maybe even to next year. Cause I mean, it's used such a small amount on your eyes. It's really nothing crazy. And I am still using that glycolic cleanser. I do love it. And I have a little bit of the, the strawberry face scrub left that I do enjoy. And I've been relying on that because again, this botanical exfoliating scrub is just, it's scary for me. Has a big disappointment. So if you've used any of these, I'd love to hear from you. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or if you've used any of these products before, please put all that down below. I love hearing from you guys. I will be writing a full review on these new products on my website. Go check that out, www.thecriticalgirl.com. And don't forget to check out my social media links. I'll put them all down below for you. Till the next time, guys. I'll probably see you again in three months. Let me know what you guys want to see. Bye.